newly recognized species of sloth has a head like a coconut. The Brazilian Atlantic Forest is home to two separate species of sloth, with heads that look just like coconuts. New research reveals. Found in a small region of this coastal forest, Maine sloths were previously thought to represent a single species. But it turns out that those in the northern section of this range are genetically distinct from those in the south. While two coconut heads may be better than one, the divergence between these sloth species actually heightens the challenges faced by conservationists. With the new taxonomic arrangement proposed here, the geographic distribution of each species becomes relatively smaller, explain the authors of a new study, highlighting the need for extra protection. The main sloth was first described in 1811. Although British zoologist John Edward Gray claimed to have discovered a second species in 1850, which he named Bradipus crinitus. His assertions were later dismissed, with taxonomists agreeing that the specimen described by Gray was in fact B. Torquatus, although the new study proves that B. Crinitus does indeed exist. The researchers conducted a morphological analysis of 24 main sloths, some of which came from the northern states of Bahia and Sergipe, while the rest were from Rio de Janeiro and Espirito Santo in the south. Compared to their northern counterparts, southern sloths had flatter skulls, rounder jaws, and wider cheekbones. Genetic analysis of 55 main sloths then revealed substantial genetic divergence between the southern and northern groups. Studying a group of collectively inherited mitochondrial genes, the researchers identified 86 mutational steps separating the two populations and calculated that this divergence occurred around 4.24 million years ago. The two species ranges are separated by the Rio d'Ossé, which also acts as a dividing line between related species of mice and capuchin monkeys. However, the researchers are unable to say whether the river provides a physical barrier, or if contrasting climatic and geographical features on either side of this marker are responsible for these phylogeographic breaks.